the, the reality of hiring replacement musicians set aside the legal complications that you simply just can't dismiss a collective bargaining agreement and then go out next year and then hire a bunch of non-union uh, employees and not have a substantial amount of legal consequence from that. Right. Um, it looks horrible. It, well, yeah, it absolutely looks horrible. Plus, the people you're going to bring in are going to be a very small subset, regardless of what anyone says about the oversupply of musicians and people who will be thrilled to work for whatever they're being paid. Yeah. Those are all temporary in the end. Yes. People are going to still have to work in that environment, and they'll eventually go through all the same frustrations that all employees go through, uh, and you just start the problem from new. Um, but how that comes back to the offer from arbitration, which you asked about, I think is important because the arbitration is an interesting solution in that it does ultimately serve as one of the most productive uh, methods I've seen so far to help rebuild the trust that doesn't exist right now. Because if you take the decision-making process out of the hands of the two stakeholders that are involved in the bargaining agreement, then those individuals following the uh, the judgment from the arbitration panel can do one of two things. They can either buy into the new institutional vision, regardless of what they do or don't like, or they can leave. 